In today's video, we're going to be making a tabletop deer mount. Uh, and this video is sponsored by Home Depot. We're going to be using some of their new Makita tools, and we'll touch on those throughout the video. Now, to complete this project, the first thing we're going to do is cut off some excess metal that we don't need on this particular bracket. Now, I'm not real sure what this bracket is supposed to be used for. It's just something that we found. Wanted to make it our own, so we're going to modify it. They do make a particular piece of hardware for the type project we're doing, but we just didn't want to go that route. We wanted to create our own and just make it unique. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, cut off a piece of, a couple pieces of the excess metal, like I said. Now we're just going to scuff it up to go along with the deer mount, as you'll see in a few minutes. Now next, we're going to be cutting some hickory, which hickory is very hard, and this 36 volt Makita circular saw <laughs> did not fail me. It's got two 18 volt batteries in it, which is kind of cool, uh, but the thing just really smooth, just cut right through that wood. Um, so far, on my favorite cordless tool. Now we're just gonna sand off the, the rough edges, kind of give it a good look. Um, and now we're gonna put some finish on it, just using some walnut oil here. And you can just see that color popping out of that wood. The next step in this project is to add some rubber feet to the bottom side of this tabletop mount. And this is just to keep the surface where this will be sitting from getting scratched up. Um, I'm using the Makita 18 volt impact driver here. And I've got to say, I really like this because it, as you need more power, it kind of ramps up the impact as you could probably hear in the video. Uh, it's just really powerful, 18 volts. Uh, I was very impressed. Speaking of impact, this impact set that I'm using is the impact bit set. It's the 45 piece set. Um, really like this because a lot of the ones I've used in the past from uh, different brands, either they've been stripped out or they break, uh, but especially in this hickory man i'm telling you this hickory is some hard wood and this these bits uh, stood the test so i'm happy with these so be sure and check those out now next we're going to add some things to the mount um, to kind of bring brandon's uh, memory uh, from that day back to life there was some bob wire in the area he can remember and some grass so we're just going to add some different things to the mount to make it look good uh, and also to bring this mount back to where Brandon remembers it looking like when he harvested the deer. So another thing that he wants to do is add some ammunition um, in an X position. You'll see in just a second what I'm talking about, but I'm using the Makita 18 volt uh, drill here, the mate to the impact, just to kind of drill some holes at an angle with a portioner bit so I can just slide the ammunition down into these holes and it should hold them in place just fine and kind of gave it a cool look that was brandon's idea uh, so we went with it and uh, it turned out just fine so now we're gonna put the mount in place on the hook and we have to be real careful here because it's real brittle and so we don't want to break anything but what i'm going to do is when i get this thing in place and we like it I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna mark on the inside of the mount where the metal comes in contact. Um, just in case I have to take this thing back off, I know where to put it back. Uh, so that's the only reason for the marks. So at that, after that, what I can do is start applying some epoxy and I'll mix up just some regular store-bought epoxy and apply it to where the metal meets the mount. And that should hold it in place. After it cures, it's not gonna go anywhere uh, because without the epoxy, it, it'll rock, it'll move. So once you move this mount from place to place, you definitely want this mount to stay where it is. You don't want it to fall because it will break. Um, that metal piece you see on the front of the mount there is because the nose was broken and that's something that Brandon added on early on to kind of give it the full look. Now it's time to add some grass to the to the mount. This kind of brings it all together. Um, this really ties everything uh, together. I like how the, the bob wire and the grass and the ammunition there, especially the color of the wood, but not to mention the mount. It just, everything looks really good. And I was uh, very pleased with the outcome of this thing. 
So we really didn't have a plan for this. It's this just kind of winging it the whole way through. So I applied some epoxy on the back side of that bracket just to kind of hold some of the grass in place. I'm going to tie the rest in place with a couple pieces of rope. Uh, and that's basically it. I mean, very, very happy. The hickory with the wood looks really, really good. And, you know, just the, like the barbed wire and the ammunition. And the, you can see the mount there that we scuffed up with the angle grinder to kind of tie into this metal plate on the front of the mount. And the grass with the antlers, it just looks really, really good, to, in, in my opinion. We were very, very pleased. So I appreciate you guys watching. Check out the links in the description uh, to see all the tools that we use from Makita. Thanks to Home Depot for sponsoring the video. Uh, we really had fun with this. Um, and I encourage you guys to get out in the outdoors, have a good time, and try this yourself. Thanks for watching.